Chibokwe reacts to a video of Pastor Tunde Bakare talking about Tunumbu. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Joey Boko was on his Facebook account this afternoon to share a video of Pastor Tunde Bakare talking to his congregation about Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, former governor of Lagos State. In the video, Joey Boko shared Pastor Tunde Bakare was preaching to his congregation and he could be heard saying, Look, I am telling you the truth. Accept a humble pie and eat it. When you were asleep, Asiwaji Tunumbu was walking day and night. He secured Lagos, secured Ogun, secured Oyo, secured Oshun, secured Ikiti, secured Ondo, secured Edo. And you say he said nobody all day. <laughs> this one really got me rolling on the floor. But let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. You have a friend and that particular friend has been with you through thick and thin and it is now time for you to retire. You have built a business. This your friend, you and him have come a long way. And of course, your long dream has been to build a business and at the end of the day, you know, you leave the business and it becomes a business for your family, a business for your son, generation to generation. That is your lifelong dream. It has not changed. Then you are supposed to retire. That means you are supposed to be getting someone who is actually going to be running the business for you. Now, will you go and pick that your friend that is actually old? Mind you, your, ch your friend is old. He is no longer the young man you used to know. He is your senior and is actually very, very old. Let me ask you, will you pick that your friend or you rather go for somebody who is competent? When your lifelong dream is actually for you to have a business, something your children and children, children, they will always have. No matter how bad the economy is, at least you say, okay, my children, they are going to be working in my company. Would it because this your friend has been so good for you to sacrifice, you know, the, the, the years you've worked for and you make him the manager? Does it seem to make sense? No, to me. People might look at, in fact, um, people are going to look at you in a very funny manner if you even say it out. To ask you, uh -uh, you have sons, you have sons and you have daughters. Mind you, I'm not saying you should hand over your business on a platter of gold or you should give your children you know um, a silver spoon or gold spoon but at the same time you don't want your name to be forgotten you don't want your name to be forgotten at all you want your business to stand the test of time even without you being on set tell me now will you go for someone you know or someone who is competent for the job we all know who we're going to go for so now it is the same question will you go for someone who is competent or you will go for someone who knows people, who is popular. In Nigeria, why I'm scared is that it is seeming like a lot of these people, especially those who claim their spirit, they are not ready to learn. They are not ready to learn at all. All they know is violence, I mean, violence, doing things in a way that is not even supposedly to be done. Sincerely. In Nigeria here, you want someone who is going to be, how am I going to put it? Someone who is competent, someone who is apolitical. The person is not a member of any political party. He will not say, oh, my party will not allow me to do this. No. At the end of the day, that is the kind of person we want. Somebody who is neutral on all grounds. Someone who at the end of the day, as in he is competent, he is Top notch. He has integrity. He has competence. He has high moral standards and value. You know, somebody like that. Somebody like that. That is just it. That is it, Sintelli. That is the kind of person Nigeria needs. 
So no matter if you are going to come and say, oh, somebody have the whole 36 states of Nigeria. See, there are times where we are going to be feeling like this in our lives. Where somebody would determine a position. And yet it's going to be well, like, somebody is going to demand a position. And uh, you're supposed to give it to the person. But you think it out through. At the end of it, thank you, you find out, no, if I give this person this position, what and what and what to be done? So, um, Nigerians, the ball is in your court. Please choose wisely. The rest of the news, please stay with us. You think he labored that much to say, come and take? No, he's not a fool. Stop all this nonsense about ancestry. You will kill your heroes and those that can deliver you will be put aside and nothing will happen. All the Shakabula leaders, they don't have machine guns. All they have is Shakabula. You know what Shakabula is? Dane gun. He that has ear, let him hear. I am not a friend of anybody. Stop plotting and scheming against someone. He has his past and you have yours. Even the Pope has a past. Do not let me expose your, you, your men of God do. They have their past too. And before I expose them, I should look in worse too. And you do too. This is actually true. Zenimbo has achieved a lot in his political career and the fact is undisputed. There are few or no politicians that have the kind of political record Bola Zenimbo has. Putting bias and sentiments aside, Zenimbo needs to be celebrated because he is a living legend. And I think the youth should study his political career to learn how to build and work with people from different ethnic background. He might have his past, as Pastor Tunde Bakara said, but his achievement and a standing record should not be underestimated. Far from anybody is underestimating it, to be very sincere. Everybody is just saying that, yes, this man is a father of democracy, he has done a lot, but this and this and this and this. Yes, he has done a lot. Is, does that make him competent? In what way? How did he make his money and what was William Van doing his house during the election? Until he answered those questions, everything he achieved is history. Okay. Some people are really pushing. Really, really pushing. Turbo does not have the sterling qualities and attributes of a world leader. To be president of Nigeria because he's not... God, who will say that it is my turn to take over the leadership of Nigeria, as if Nigeria were a piece of property, as he and Buhari would take turns with the destiny of Nigeria and in futuro non that in future, that cannot happen in Jesus' name. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. And until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.